Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the normal stress and the shear stress. I will explain the difference between these two type of the stresses. So the normal stress has further two types. One is called the tensile stress, tensile stress, and the other one is the compressor stress. And the shear stress sometimes also called as the tangential stress. I will explain one by one in detail. So the normal stress it can be uh, defined by it can be defined from its name that this that this is the type of the stress which is normal to the surface area. For example, if I consider any member, let's consider this any member, maybe the aluminium member or the wood member. If I apply the stresses perpendicular to the area, like for example, this is my force applied and this is the surface area of this member. So the force when perpendicular to this area, so this uh, stress will be known as the normal stress because this force now acts perpendicular to this area. So that's why it's called as the normal stress. But when this force acting in the ten tensile direction, in the tension direction, when it stretches the member, so th this stress will now be called as the tensile stress. And its formula is simple as the normal stress is presented by F by A, force by area. Now the other type of the normal stress is the compressor stress. So it is the type of the stress in which the member compresses. So when the force applied perpendicular to the surface area, but this force is now tend to compress the member. So this force and this perpendicular area, right? There's a perpendicular to the force, but in this case, this force tends to compress the object. So it will decrease in size and it will follow this type of shape, right? So this type of stress now called as the compressor stress. And similarly, it is represented by the same formula, the force per unit area, but in this case, this force is known as the compressor force. Compressor force. While in the above case, this force was known as the tension force because it creates tension in the body. Uh, it, it, it stretches the body, so it will follow the shape like in this way. These are the two types of the normal stresses in which the force acting normal to the surface area. The other type of the stress is the shear stress or sometimes it's called as the tangential stress. So it is the type of the stress in which the body tend to shear. Like for example, if I consider this is any member and, and I apply the force F and F in this direction, so this will shear the body like in this way. So now this force tends to slide the body in the shear direction. So this stress created in the object is known as the shear stress. This is the force applied. But in this case, the force is not applied perpendicular to the surface, but it is applied parallel to the surface. These two surfaces are parallel. That's why uh, this type of stress is known as the shear stress. While in this case, the force is applied perpendicular to the surface, while in this case, force applied parallel to the surface. It will create stresses which is known as the shear stresses or the tangential stresses. And it will, the body will slide, not compress or stretched, but the body will slide uh, from its own original position and it is represented usually by tau and its formula is similar as the normal stress the force per unit area but here the area will not be the perpendicular area but it is the area which is parallel to the force in the force direction hope you guys understand the main difference between the normal and the shear stress in which the forces always act perpendicular to the area is known as the normal stresses while the type of the stresses in which the force acts parallel to the area is known as the shear stresses Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.